So within CCM, we have some tools that we can use to troubleshoot our dial plan when we have issues. One of them being the dial number analyzer. This is a built-in tool within CUCM and it helps us examine issues with either call routing or with digit manipulation. But before we can use a dot number analyzer or DNA, we have to ensure that the following services have been started and both services must be activated in order for us to be able to use DNA. Now the beauty of DNA is that we can submit a series of dialed digits and in return we can get the digit analysis all just without actually making the call. It can be very helpful. So once our two services are active, this is the URL that you would use using the IP address of your publisher node and if all is well in regards to those services, you should receive a screen that looks like that. So let's browse to it in our environment. I'll go ahead and log in and there we go. So once we go to analysis, we see that we have a, a couple of options here. Here we can select a gateway or phone or trunk. What we're doing here is we are asking CUCM what would happen if the call were to originate from this gateway or this phone or this trunk. And we'll see an example of that shortly. The other mode that a lot of people use is this analyzer. This is more generic, so we're not asking what would happen from a specific phone or gateway or SIP trunk, but we're asking if we had this call in and called number and we use this calling search space, what would the digit analysis be? Would that call be routed or not? So in this sense, both options, when we're talking about the analyzer, gateway trunks, or phone do the same thing with the exception is when using a gateway phone or trunk, see so you still take into account the calling search space of those devices, or if you're doing a phone, the calling search space of the line when evaluating that call. All right, so let's go to phone as the first option that we'll take a look at. I can enter in the device name, the directory number, or I can find, you see all the endpoints in my environment. Let's say I wanted to choose on Savannah. So here we have some information about Savannah's phone. But let's say I want to choose her extension or line 1000. Notice I have the option to enter digits or SIP URI. Let's say I'll put 912125551234. And before I hit do analysis, keep in mind I'm not being prompted for calling search space because this will evaluate the calling search space from the device in this case and also the line. So I'll go ahead and choose do analysis. And here we can see information like the dialed digits. Are we routing or blocking this pattern? Here's the call party number, 1212-555-1234. Here we see the call going to the Tampa outbound route list. And if we expand all, we'll see additional information. So here's our calling party, 1000, the partition, the current search space being used. Notice it shows us the pattern that we're matching, along with the partition that pattern belongs to. Let's scroll down a bit. Here's more information about our call flow in regards to route pattern. We require a forced authorization code. No. Is there a client matter code that's required? No. We see the pre transform calling party and called party. So this is before any changes are being made. We scroll down a bit more. Here we see for the called party, we have a pre dot, which in turn strips that nine off the number right there. You also see the route group being associated along with what device is being used within that route group. So as you can see, there's a good wealth of information that we are able to see. So let's go back and say we're dialing Mariah at 1001. In the previous example, we had a call out to the PSTN, but this time we're calling somebody else within our infrastructure. So again, we see a lot of the same information, partition, calling search space. We're going to route this pattern. But further down, you'll see that this call would eventually reach Mariah's 8845, which is currently registered at the moment and there's the MAC address of that device. Let's go back to that example where we were dialing the PSTN because I forgot to point out one thing and you probably saw it as I was scrolling down. But we expand all, there should have been a transformation being done right here in our SIP trunk. So on our SIP trunk, we're transforming the calling party to 1813-555-3333. And we can verify that by going to CUCM. We go to device and trunk. We go to our SIP trunk there and that transformation is being performed based on this calling party transformation that we see here. Now, if we scroll back up and go to analyzer, we see that we're not picking an endpoint at this point, but we can insert the calling party. So let's say Natalie at 1005 and dial digits of 912125551234. And notice here, I have the option of choosing what calling search space that that call would be sourced from. So let's say I choose internal. 
and I also have the option to do the device time zone or if I'm doing some type of time of day I want to test but we'll stick with internal we'll then do do analysis and we can see that this pattern is being blocked as we expect because that card search space and those partitions only allow us to call internal destinations so the beauty here is that we can make simulated quote unquote phone calls and see what the results would be according to CUCM. This is also a nice tool to test out different calling search spaces or what if that call was made at a certain time. You may get a phone call from a user and say, hey, I tried to dial this phone number and it won't go through. Well, you can see what DNA says. But also keep in mind that we're looking at this at the perspective of CUCM. So if this call were an outbound call going out to Cube, for example, if Cube is doing additional transformations or translations to this number or just manipulating the number in any way shape or form we would not see this here as we're only seeing this from the perspective of CUCM and also keep in mind that this is not placing an actual call so this is just showing you hypothetically what would happen if this was the calling party and we dialed this number and we applied this calling search space or you can do it from the point of view of a gateway trunk or a phone but if we wanted to see what was actually happening, that's when we would have to go with an RTMT to actually look at those logs and see what is actually happening. DNA is a great tool to quickly check out a few things to hypothetically see what would, if someone called 911, for example, what gateway would that go to? Or when you get, or when a user is having an issue and their endpoint is thousands of miles away. So you can see what happens when that user actually places that call. So in this nugget, we went over DNA with a dialed number analyzer, which is a built-in tool within CVCM. We saw that it does require these services to be running. And we also looked at a few examples and looked at the wealth of information that we can quickly see based on the called and calling party. I hope this has been informative for you. I'd like to thank you for viewing. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in an IT career or looking to brush up your IT skills, check out cbtnuggets.com and sign up for a free trial.